Hey guys, Zillard here, back with another review. Today we're looking at Transformers Power Core combined with Smolder with Chapster. A much more simpler transformation than that lead foot. Stupid crap pile still sitting on the floor because he's a failure. No, I just put the ones I reviewed on the floor. Now, I like this guy a lot, and I like his minicon. It is Chopster. Mostly because, eh, sounds like Chop Chop, and I play Skylanders, and I like Chop Chop. And you can fold that up. And he does actually have a nose and a mouth, it's just hard to see on this version, you can see it better on Razor Beam. But, articulation, he's got ball joint there, ball joint there, ball joint, or knee, and hinge, bleh. There you go. Now, smolder. Quick 360 of the vehicle mode. I like this. It looks like a Lino combined with Decepticon logo. Or Ghost Rider's Decepticon logo. If he were one. Now, transformation. Just gonna jump right into it. Because this thing does not like to break. Which is good. <laughs> fold that in. This is probably one of the more simpler guys. And one of the more better results, kind of like uh, Vicon. So, will I be doing another lead foot review? Depends. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the joint on the new one I get. Um, on that lead foot. <laughs> Well, the new, I'm going to test the new joint on the lead foot that's not broken and see how much I can swivel it. If it doesn't swivel at all, I uh, can't really. It's just a tab set for tightening this, but there is smolder in robot mode. And what I was saying before is I'll test it to see if the joint is loose enough to the point where I can actually move the freaking thing. If it's not, well, I probably won't review it. So you're stuck with the one that's broken. So I'd deal with it. Oh, there we go. So there's Smolder in robot mode. He is really cool. Now, um, Chopster, fold that down. Getting him into weapon mode. I'm gonna try to get all the power cores done today. So the broken lead foot, that'll probably be up for a limited time only. And now he's got a giant axe. That is freaking sweet. So we'll take that off. And articulation on this guy. He's got some ball joints there, some ball joints there, ball joint there, hinge there, a little bit of foot pivot, and ball jointed head. And he's got kind of like a little red baron looking helmet going on there. Now the armor mode. Basically this. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Armor mode. It's kind of silly. It's better than Throttler. As in the uh, little guy who came with Skyhammer. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, Torso mode. We will attempt. Well, actually, I don't have to because I don't got the runes I need to attach to this.
I'm going to fix this from behind camera. Off screen. Yeah, so let me just fold that up. Oh, you have to leave that a little. There we go. Then you pull that out, swivel the head back, and bring out his very cool, but very, uh, kind of skinny neck, if you know what I mean. Combiner head, it kind of looks like Optimus Prime of the gas, well, Nemesis Prime of the gas mask, I guess. And you could connect whatever freaking drones you want to this, I really don't care. <laughs> Because I don't I have any. Ha <laughs> ha. So, but just kidding. Um, honestly, I really like this figure. Um, he is probably the best PCC I own. Mostly because he does break. Just trying to get him to stand in this configuration. There. So, uh... Smaller with Chopster, I'm gonna give a 10 out of 10, because it's not bad, I mean, it's really cool, and, uh, it's simple, and it's satisfying, and the Minicon is actually pretty tall. So, I would highly recommend this pack. First he was an evil fire truck. Now he's a German. And then he turned into a bomb squad. What? Yeah, mascots confused. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And I will see you all later.